welcome to Poppy J's Confidential. Uh, I'm just sitting here rolling up for a little weekend trip. My uncle wise hollered at me. Let me know I need to get the ball rolling. Life is real. So for me, it's kind of hard to like get into something when uh, you're dealing with everyday life. But the reason for Poppy Confidentials is just to, I, I like I've been speaking to Wise and I told him, I said, yo, we can go all over the internet and hear people's opinion of men, whether it be criminally, relationship-wise, like overall, just always somebody has an opinion on what men need to do and what. And uh, I think that as a man, women should know, own a, I, don't, I, I don't hear enough about women and what they need to step up and work on besides the silly dumb shit. I don't care if you could cook. Personally, I probably cook better than half. So it's not even that, it's just we get a lot of blame and a lot of the flack. And everybody else walk off into the sunset and it's just like, let's balance everything out. Let's uh, put everything in, their, in its proper perspective as they start changing shit. As the change is, is coming, coming fast and furious, we need to like change a lot of things, a lot of point of views, a lot of things. We need to question some shit. Shit needs to be questioned, man. I'm watching a lot of crazy shit go on in the streets. And I'm just going to speak on it from a male's perspective. That's it. I'm pro man. All the men that's really trying and trying to figure shit out and doing the best they can, and I get overlooked because of all the grammar and glitz and shit. Just pro man, real good fathers, niggas who are, are good fathers in situations that can appear as if they was bad fathers. Due to, once again, not just the man, it's the woman that plays a role in that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't hear that story. That story is like covered. You always sympathize with the woman. You always empathize with the woman when it comes to these situations. There's situations where you must empathize. There's struggles. There's a acts that can be committed that are warranted and supersede shit. But not just the basics. It don't apply to the basics. I'm sorry. Not in my book. Not in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking for myself. That's why. I, it's my confidential thoughts. Thoughts that I wouldn't share, but I'm sharing in confidence with you. And soon I'll go live, but right now I'm warming up. I gotta get a better, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna situate. It's gonna stay gritty. I'm not trying to be some, I'm dressing the way I dress. Just, figure, just, just mind you that. And that's basically the gist of it. I mean, nothing much, really. I just want to speak up for the good men. There's bad men. There's bad race. There's bad women. Sorry. They are manipulative, heartless, uh, inconsiderate. And all these different type of women that's missing, miss, that's these particular ones I called out. Everybody think they like, they like overpriced. It's like the, the market. Like, you know, you paying too much for this house because of the time. And people are putting the, a high price on what they what they expect. 
they are, they're like everybody's coming with a demand list. It's not even like a 50-50 thing or nothing. It's just demands. They all talk that 50-50 shit. That should go out the window in like 60 days. My that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like 60 days. That 66, six, that 50 50 shit, that Dutch, that shit disappeared. You might not never go Dutch. Some people don't even know what Dutch is. You know, you wouldn't even say that these days. So it's just crazy. Like the narrative that just swung on a man, but. So I'm just here to like level the playing field, man, with everything. Not just women, stupid niggas. The stupid race game. I might comment on it once in a while, depending on how I feel. I try to stay away from that shit, man. I got time for y'all niggas to be killing each other because of what color y'all. Stay the fuck away from me. I stay the fuck away from y'all. Y'all stay the fuck away from me. Do what the fuck you want. I'm tired of all this. Try you ain't saving. You can't change the hood. It's a confidential secret. Let me tell everybody. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you. You cannot change the hood. The hood is the hood for a purpose. You can upgrade the hood. It doesn't really change the hood because you upgrade something. People think you upgrade something it just automatically is going to treat you like jail, like colors. Put the right colors up. Everybody just walk around dumbfounded and happy. No, the hood is the hood for a reason. Projects is the projects for a reason. Doesn't matter if a nigga bought the projects or not. Nigga. The projects is the projects for a reason. You want the only thing you could do is create a new hood. A new shit. You gotta buy land for that. It's not just buying a house and then like nobody changed the hood. Neighbors don't even talk to each other. Y'all talking about the hood. You gotta get your asses out your head. Or your head out your ass. Whatever that is. But, um... Yeah, shit like that I'm gonna be chatting about, man. Just speaking my shit, man. Just crazy shit going on. I'm just watching shit. Man. I'm getting older. Trying to leave a legacy or something for my kid. I really forgot what the, how important it was for a family name. Like the name to be carried on and respected. You ain't trying to run shit. But you want to have a little family name is supposed to be respectable. And that shit, the kids don't even respect nothing. So we fixing that. I'm trying to fix that. I'm working on it personally. But I'm just sharing that 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 journey. Like and just pointing out why things just don't make sense. One plus one is not, it's just one plus three is not two. And that's how it seemed like everybody's adding or subtracting or something. They're just skipping a number or something. They're not really adding. Because then you wouldn't cry about so much shit. So then it wouldn't be so sensitive. Everybody wouldn't be so sensitive. You made a decision. It goes wrong. Now you expect sympathy. You made the decision, though. Some people may be forced. Very Some people may be coerced or whatever you want to say peer pressure there might be other uh, substance act reasons everybody's gonna have an excuse at the end of the day when you look back at it even the people you decided to befriend because of their class or what they had or how they were when you play the game if you don't read the rules and you just jump in it could be a little hard that don't warrant me to be sympathize with you or want to hear you cry because you don't know how to play the game right or you made a bad move. Just my 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 thoughts on shit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing major. Sign light. I'm gonna give you more than ten minutes. Peace.